Give me the name of industry in India that champions women's cause. Well, the corporate sector, no. The industrial sector, once again, it's no. Well, the media industry, perhaps. Oh, let's not open the can of worms. Can you still not guess it? Well, it's the entertainment industry, often referred to as Bollywood or the Hindi film industry. How do they present themselves? Isn't everyone in Bollywood a feminist? They accumulate several liberal ideas and often voice their opinions favoring the empowerment of women. But the entertainment industry is actually filled with phony activists who actually willingly participate in industry's crimes. And the case of Sajid Khan stands in deposition for the same. Namaste and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Piyush. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and subscribe to the page. Let's begin with the video report. Sajid Khan, the director, television presenter, comedian and actor has many feathers to his cap. As you scroll down any web page, this is what you get to read. Also adding to that, the other information available is that he began his career as a host of a TV show May Be Detective in 1995. He also did a stand-up comedy show Sajit No. 1 in the late 90s. Then he ventured into movie direction and has delivered some good results like Hey Baby and The Houseful Franchise. He had also delivered flops too like Himmatwala and Hamshakals. As I told you earlier, this information is readily available or are being made availed to make you look at his work and deviate from the important issue. The same Sajid Khan, who is an actor, director and whatnot, has been accused of sexual harassment by several female colleagues. The controversy began after it was announced that Sajid Khan will be a contestant on Big Boss Season 16 that was set up to premiere in the month of October. As the Me Too movement reached Indian shores in 2018, 10 women had accused Sajid Khan for violating them. Here are some names. Madana Karimi, Saloni Chopra, Rachel White, Simran Suri, Marina Kumar, Ahana Kumar, Dimple Pola, Cheryl Chopra and journalist Karishma Upadhyay. Some of them are actresses, some assistant directors and some even journalists. There is even a directory named Death in Bollywood released in 2021 based on the act of actress Jia Khan which includes accusations of harassment against Khan on Jia by her sister Karishma Khan. After the revelations, Sajid Khan was barred by the Indian Film and Television Directors Association from directing any Bollywood films. After the recent announcement of the show, there have been widespread demand of ousting Khan from it, with victims claiming that a sexual predator should find no place on national TV. The Big Boss show, along with Salman Khan, are also being called out for giving a platform and opportunity to Sajid Khan for whitewashing his image. Acquisitions against Sajid Khan was the pinnacle of Me Too movement within the film industry. However, the Bollywood cabal is back at work. They are shielding an alleged sexual predator like there is no tomorrow. And trust me, Salman Khan is not the only one guilty. Earlier, actresses like Shainaz Kaur and Kashmira Shah had voiced their support for the contestant Sajid Khan. Now, the Federation of Western India Cine Employees has put forward a humanitarian appeal. The organization has asserted that Khan has already been punished for his alleged misconduct and should now be allowed to work for a living. For a living? I mean seriously, the FWICE here is suggesting that a one-year ban is all that you need to serve for violating as many as 10 women. Okay, let's put the brakes here. The women who have spoken out against him can be considered the tip of the iceberg. There might be many more who have silently bore the brunt of his torture. It must have taken a lot for the victims to muster the courage to speak up. 
the step taken by the Big Boss fraternity and Colors TV, whosoever are the stakeholders here, is a brutal pushback for the women willing to speak up. The message is clear. Think twice before speaking about violations as it is going to be an everlasting battle and the culprits are being protected by the powerful. The power hubs have always whitewashed the criminals. This is a fact about Bollywood that is hidden from no one and victims have been shamed and hounded. The right way forward is instead of demanding the ones at the top to oust Sajid Khan, the audience should themselves vote him out. The next thing in the chart must be to bring down the TRP as many battles are won and lost on the scale of TRP. Bollywood is an industry that survives on hype and drama. Meanwhile, in its silence enables other perpetrators to carry on. For these reasons, the industry has been facing the boycott campaign for months now. The entire Bollywood ecosystem, which likes to think of itself as one which is resisting the fascist forces currently ruling the nation, has time and again protected the culprits. If you think that Sajid Khan belongs to Bollywood's inner circle and hence is being saved, then you are probably wrong. Why, you might ask? Well, let me recall some incidents for you. Do you remember how actress Payal Ghosh was hounded after she had accused the leftist favorite Anurag Kashyap? Amir Khan, who otherwise remains on a spree to reform Sanatan Dharm, wasted no time to work with Me Too accused Supash Kapoor. While Tapsi Pannu came out to support her friend Sonam Kapoor, defended Rajkumar Hirani in the Me Too allegations against him. The prominent names other than these are Anu Malik and Vikas Bahal and all of them were saved by their circles. Because if you have contacts in the Hindi film industry, you can get away with anything. The Me Too movement could not deliver justice. However, it did expose Bollywood's skeletons. Be it the case of Sajid Khan or Rajkumar Hirani or Vinod Duwa, they were all defended by the cabal shamelessly. The same cabal that represents itself as the champion of women empowerment. Despite the serious nature of the allegations, not only did the Bollywood fraternity stay silent, the flag bearers of feminism also came out to defend the sexual predators in broad daylight. And now a lot of effort is being put to shield Sajid Khan. Although the entire machinery of Bollywood has mobilized to bury the crimes of Sajid Khan, they are still on the failing side. 